Movavi Video Editor is full of different transitions, titles, filters, but today I want to focus on simple effects. I'll show you how to assemble them and most importantly, how to use them correctly. Because I often notice how one and the same effect is applied incorrectly and it looks, to put it mildly, not good. So today we're gonna figure out how it works and I promise it will be really easy. My name is Arthur Weiner, this is the Movavi vlog and the first effect is... Actually, no. First, let's figure out what is the proper way of using such effects in videos in general. I'm talking first of all about enhancing effects that make an already good video even more spectacular. And you should take into account that you will not be able to just put any effect in a bad shot and everything will instantly get beautiful. No. But what is a bad shot? It's a shot with bad lighting, bad composition, no depth, shaky footage and so on. You have to film a good shot where all these things are in place and you know what the end result should be. Effects or filters are not a magic wand that will make it great right away. You have to figure out what you want to improve. And when you understand that, you can open the effects library and think, yep, I was filming a sea with the shining sun, so I can take an effect with glare and enhance the shot. And if you shot yourself against a dirty wall with bad lighting and you add a lightning effect like I'm flash, well, that won't work and will look bad. So let's get to more specific examples. I have two shots of my iPhone 13. The first one I'm shooting something and the second one I'm holding it in my hand. Such a nice contrasty shot. And let's say I want to add music to this b-roll and stylize the whole thing to make it look more interesting. So let's think about it. The iPhone is blue, it's a gadget, so we can add something that's somehow related to tech, like some digital divisions, glitch effects. So let's go to the filter section and find Find, let's have this digital 10 one from the digital overlay pack to apply the effect just drag and drop it on the desired shot and instantly the effect may look worse than it could many people get frustrated at this point delete the effect and look for something else although you need to dig deeper click on this little effects icon and the properties of the clip with the applied effects will open we have only one so far and here which few people notice there is an option to change the intensity of the effect and and the blending mode. Blending modes is a very powerful tool that can greatly affect the way a particular effect looks. For example, if you select Lighten or Linear Dodge, you get a brighter image with the enhanced effect. But if you select Overlay, it stylizes the image, hiding the details and the effect becomes more accentuated. And I personally like that already. To stylize it even more, let's go to the filters again and add this digital tool. I will leave the Linear Dodge blending mode. And here's the second shot. I'm gonna throw in the digital 8 effect and color dodge blending mode. In this case, the effect is not striking and adds a slight stylization. And to rock this thing out, you can add a transition between these shots. In the left panel, open the transition section and I will choose this rift. On the timeline, change the duration and we get the result. And by the way, with Movavi Unlimited, you get one year unlimited access to all the sets of the Movavi Effects Store. This also includes nine more programs, including, of course, video editing, photo processing, screen recording, and file conversion. Basically, this one year plan covers all of a YouTuber's needs. And you don't need some expensive computer to run the platform, an average one will be enough. The Movavi Unlimited annual plan is available at 85% discount. And the time is limited, so hurry up and click the link below to take advantage of this offer. So, you see, I didn't add effects that conflicted with the theme of my video. If I had added a fire effect here, it would have looked very strange. And speaking of fire, I have two more shots of the blacksmiths doing their thing. And since fire is in the foreground here, I think you could enhance it with Movavi effects. Again, enhance, not replace. Going back to the filter section again, and I think action four from the action pack would look good here. With a default blending mode, it obviously doesn't look good, so I'll change it to linear dodge. Lighten is too light and color 
Hmm, there is something to that. If you are doing a black and white video with accents, it might work, but I'll stick with the linear dodge. You can have a little more fun with the second shot. I'll throw in action six and an overlay mode. Very contrasty and aggressive might work well with something stylized. And if you want something more organic, you can take this action eight. It will add a light atmosphere and the mode lighten works quite well. Similar can be done, for example, with lightning. So you've gotten a few thunderstorm shots where you can see the lightning, but it didn't come out as spectacular as you would like. In the section with filters, we have a choice of three effects from the same action pack. My lightning in the shot is purple, so I'll take this one, action three. And the most realistic look here would be the last blending mode, linear dodge. And now it definitely looks more impressive than before. If something glitters in the video, I would also enhance it with effects. For example, here's a shot of a girl with unusual makeup everything is gold. And we have an awesome sparkles overlay pack that has some of these sparkles in it. I like this one, sparkles too, and let's choose a blending mode, color dodge. The others look too washed out, but we need something more organic. I would also try the overlay mode. It's a bit washed down, but why not? It's an interesting look too. Here's another thing. All these styles and filters are quite subjective. What I like, you may not like, and that's normal. Everyone has its own style and vision. So just because I'm doing this doesn't mean you have to repeat exactly what I'm doing. Download a few sets and see what you like best. Anyway, right now I have a color dodge here and I like it. The glitter appears where there is some color and in the dark, it disappears. Cool. And I have another shot of waves accordingly will look for something similar to waves. There is a cool set, it's called the Fluid Art Overlay Pack that has all sorts of overlays with liquids. They are quite stylized, but now I want something softer. I think this Fluid Art 4 would look good. The blending mode is definitely linear dodge, and let's drop the opacity down to like 40%, and we got these interesting patterns on top of the waves. As an option, this can be used as separating titles in a video, that is, we throw in and some of the title templates and write something related to the sea. Maybe you are creating some video about the most beautiful coast in the world. So it's pretty simple. Movavi has a very large selection of all sorts of overlays, transitions, filters, also lots for color grading, titles and stickers in Movavi Unlimited. You can use them to highlight your main thoughts and important points, as well as give out additional information. And the tracking feature lets you attach titles and stickers to a moving object. And also custom templates, this is a real project in the project. With it, you can make unique intros and outros for your YouTube videos and use it to create custom titles, stickers, animated logos, and other visual elements from scratch. The key is to approach the process with creativity and don't mold things to each other that don't mold. If you have something calm in the shot, don't mix it up with harsh textures and explosions, for example. The effects should complement and enhance your shot. And if you want to learn even more about video editing, click here and here where I talk about editing in Movavi in more detail. Thanks for watching this video to the end and see you in the next one.